the animal health clubs in Sierra Leone with the brainchild of Roland Saluku, a lecturer in the animal science department of Anjala University. Roland wanted to do something about animal diseases, especially rabies, which is endemic in Sierra Leone. So the only way I can get that message was to go through school children, and that was how the idea of the animal hair club came. He wanted to reach the next generation so that they could pass on their knowledge. And so, with the support of Njala University, he went to five local schools and got the clubs off the ground. Every week, a group of school children, accompanied by a teacher, go around the village asking people if they have animals, where they keep their animals, and giving advice on feeding and washing them. We show you cleanliness, and we don't see so many clubs don't come. We don't get good environment to pick it and pay. Then we fall them, not for put them inside us. We animals there for ten place, we have there for sleep. Then for they never sleep with we. Because if they sleep with we, we go sick. Even the vaccination which they have given to the dogs in this town has created a very big uh, impact to them. Because formerly dogs were biting people and they are dying. There was no cure for them. But now since that they have vaccinated the dogs, they are going with the idea that whenever a dog bites somebody in this town, now that person will not die. In this village, they now understand about rabies prevention. And today, the emphasis is more on sanitation and hygiene. We dig away, put they fold the wood, fold the wood, the cellar hole, it's cut in the tea. If it's sickness, they cannot hold it, and they hold it. The animal health clubs now cover a wide range of interconnected subjects, including advice on nutrition. My short message to all the community people through the, for the Animal Health Club has always been healthy meat is wealth. The, you take care of yourself, you need to take care of the animal as well because they too have life. Through this uh, Animal Health Club, we've been able to chip in and say, well, maybe this will be the best practice for these animals if you, you want to ensure good health. During the war in Sierra Leone, rabies began to spread as many dogs became feral. Roland Saluku lives in the war-decimated region of Moyamba, an area with no animal health services and few non-government organisations. So he decided to start the animal health clubs, teaching people how to treat dog bites and monitor rabid dogs, a message often communicated through comedy skits and radio. Whilst the conflict meant dogs ran wild, farm animals, on the other hand, all but disappeared, and Roland is trying to increase their numbers. With all our meat, in fact, the meat we get, 80% is from Guinea. So I want to increase animal production. And one way you can increase animal production is when you teach the people how to take care of their animals. Proper care of goats helps prevent serious skin diseases like mange. We treated all the animals around. But because uh, we did not tell them properly to clean the environment, so the disease has cropped up again. We told them to tether their animals, but because they have not been used to tethering, they leave, leave the animals moving like that. Almost all the goat now in the community has contracted this type of disease. Treatment of all the goats seems the only solution to stop the mange spreading. It's called a uh, sarcoptic mange. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's a parasite. The animal can lose weight, and if not treated, the animal can also die. I want if the treatment works effectively, they really see that these drugs can cure this and uh, the disease completely. Next time, if you tell them to buy, they will buy. We have been advised by Mr. Suluku not to put up a pen like this for animals. It is very dangerous. The new design for a goat hut means the feces fall a long way from the goat, helping to prevent disease. Goats are a vitally important part of family economy. If there is an emergency, then the family can save the day by selling a goat. If you can compare a, the price of one goat, it's more than the price of five bushels of rice. My animals were stolen yesterday. Seven animals, goats. Those goats will help me to educate my children. But now, they have stolen them. Where am I going to get again? The animal health clubs have now introduced movement permits for goats and encourage people to lock pens to try and reduce the risk of them being stolen. A disaster for any family. Because from there we can run out to get nothing, I will sell them. The money I take and use some family people. This woman, Hawa, has learnt not only how to keep her goats healthy, but also the value of using goat dung as manure. It's good for the prasasi, they make the prasasi they grow. The animal health clubs now have nine areas of expertise, including agronomy. We deal with, you know, 
soil management, like uh, the utilization of animal waste you see, as fertilizers. These people, you know, are at a level of subsistence that they are incapacitated to afford chemical fertilizers. This village, Bonganima, has been so cooperative with the animal health clubs that the animal health clubs found means to assist the community in helping them to clear land for cassava planting and other crops. So the animal health club, we are getting raising fund to provide fuel and hire the tractor. Agriculture is a branch of this animal health club. So we have decided to put up this, uh, to plant cassava garden so that we can be able to feed our animals and also the human beings also. The Animal Health Club also involves students of Njala University. The Animal Health Club, I think we started operation during uh, September 2028, that World Rabies Day. That was the time we went to other communities to synthesize them uh, about dog bite, how to control uh, mad dogs. I thought it's feel that I must be part of a change so that by tomorrow I may be proud that I was part of that group that brought in a change. Seven communities and over a hundred schools took part in the World Rabies Day celebrations. In the next year, the animal health clubs will expand into a hundred new schools around Sierra Leone. We teach them about clean water, drinking clean water, good toilet facilities. So it's a broad uh, base. But at the end of the day, the goal is one health. We are bringing all these people together to do one health. In a country of over six million people and just five qualified veterinarians, the provision of new skills to a group of enthusiastic young people is vital in preventing animal diseases that wreck livelihoods and kill children and adults. What started, against all odds, as a way of trying to prevent the tragedy of rabies has become a much broader club, helping communities towards productivity and good health.